Good morning from a very rainy morning here in the Smoky Mountains. We're staying in Sevierville with family for a reunion. We have a big cabin. Hopefully I'll be able to get to show you that later, but there's 16 of us here, so I don't want to be on top of anybody doing that. But um, we're going to be taking Everett and then my niece and my sister-in-law and going to Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies. Um, so we're going to have a lot of fun. We got a package that has two additional Ripley's attractions included with it. We haven't decided what we're going to do yet, but I will take you along and we'll find out when we get there, I guess. I haven't been there before, so there's lots to do and I'm excited to go. We are here at Ripley's Aquarium and it is beautiful. They've got this big climbing area for kids too. I'm sure we'll be checking that out. I like this, there's a tropical rainforest. I always love the sound of waterfalls. That's really pretty. Looks like that's our next stop. What's in there? Wow. That's very cool. Got piranhas in this tank. Wowzer. They're very pretty, but I wouldn't want to be in there with them. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. It's like The back side of water. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm getting wet. Uh, getting rained on here. So, uh, getting a little bit of water. In case it hasn't been raining enough here already. But it's really pretty. It's like a miniature version of Godzilla. Oh, look at the mini Godzilla, yeah. Except they're a lot more lazy. Yeah, probably not gonna tear up any cities, huh? Unless you give him like a tiny toy Lego store. Yeah. With a whole bunch of what do these guys eat? What's that? What do these guys eat? Probably little insects and, and stuff, then, I would imagine. And then all its citizens are little insects. Yeah. All right, Everett, so tell me what's in this tank? These are axolotls, and you have a friend at school that loves these, huh? And if you look right there, you can see a little bit. I didn't know how big they were. Look at that. And it's... I always thought they were tiny. They can, and they also swim. That's very cool. Heading into the ocean realm. Let's see what we have in here. Yeah, I like the projection too. It looks like ocean water, huh? It says they're cousins of jellyfish. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Wow. I don't know, but do you, it looks like electricity going through them. That's crazy. That is so cool. I can see it says sea walnuts, like it's jellyfish cousins. This tenophore contains mesoglia, I'm sure that's a horrible pronunciation, a gelatinous material composed of mostly water and fibrous proteins. That's awesome. I can see Yeah, I don't know if they sting or not. They're pretty. Look at this guy here. Yeah, they are. They like suck in their Speed kills! Yikes! <laughs> this is officially one of the grossest sea creatures I think I've ever seen as someone who really hates snakes. Oh my goodness. I don't like it. That shark's down in here. It looks like, is that a tube down there or am I, maybe I'm seeing a different part of the aquarium. Oh yeah, it looks like you can walk under it somewhere. I don't know where that is. I'm sure we'll find it. No, not yet. Just some sharks. And here is where all of the filtration happens for all of the water throughout the aquarium. And there are a bunch of them. There's probably even more that we can't see by the looks of it. Oh yeah, they are. I like this one. Yeah. Yep. It's due to being far away from the ocean, we make all of our salt water. Salt water is comprised of 11 different salts. This is so beautiful. It reminds you of stuff you'd see at Epcot. There are some really big sharks down in that water. And there's more of that glass tube that I saw in the other tank. Oh, 
Now this is typically where the uh, the glass bottom boat adventure would be, but I actually don't see the boat in the water. So I don't know if it's not running right now or if I just don't know where it is. That is a humpback whale. It is huge. So we're gonna take the kids over to this playground after we've gone to the other exhibits because otherwise we may never get them to go to any other parts of the facility here. Um, but so far this has been really cool. There's a lot to do. Is that a catfish? Yeah. Wow. That's a catfish. And a, uh, a stingray, a freshwater stingray. Look at that one. Oh, that is, that is an ugly, ugly boy. Oh my goodness. Wow. That guy is talking. Is <laughs> what do you think you're saying? Hello, Everett. Welcome to the aquarium. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. This is in the coral reef area, huh? Yeah. Well, it looks like there's other stuff in there, too. are pretty cool, Evie. Look at that one. Little spiky things. I don't know what those are. It's just kind of swimming feet. Look at the sharkies. Can you imagine seeing that guy out in the water? What is that thing? It's an octopus made of pencils. Lots of cool fish in here. That is a very big aquarium tank. Yeah, those are cool. Oh wow, this is right over top. Very cool. Yeah, if you can see the people up there, do you see them up? Up above? <laughs> People in the tank. <laughs> yeah, that guy got them. Yeah, look, look at the big guy. There's a big guy down there. Yeah, there is. Wow. <laughs> look, he's coming right in. Whoa. Nom nom nom. Nom 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 is right. <laughs> Big guy. Look at that thing. That is a. Ooh, look at the sea turtle. Yeah. How is that thing so big? Oh, yeah. Because they live a long time. Yeah. Wait, that wasn't a fake skeleton. That was real. What? That giant skeleton. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's make sure I run my yeah. There's one behind us, too. Yeah, you can see the glass bottom boat adventure sign up there through the water. A little blurry, but it's really there. Jeez. Looks like his eyes are That's a big guy. Looks like his eyes are on the bottom. He looks very friendly. <laughs> hey, it's a big guy. Yeah. Oh, I love the turtle. Oh, he's so pretty. See that I just it's so big. You think? How come? Oh it's eyes, okay. Is she wearing some mascara? There's some sea nettles in there. I thought these were jellyfish, I guess there's a difference. One of them lost like a tentacle or something. Oh yeah. That happens, I'm sure. Maybe it just came off like there or something. Maybe. But can we go see this? Ooh, this They're is. A, these are terrifying. What giant Japanese spider crab, up to 12 foot claw span, 
They're from Japan. We're good. Not good. <laughs> yeah. Little little villains having a meeting in here. <laughs> and and the and those guys are the workers. They just oh yeah. Play. Oh yeah, there are little ones, huh? And the shrimp are the co-workers. <laughs> This is the Ring of Fire, exploring the Pacific Isles. I like that volcano. I know what the Ring of Fire is. Yeah. Are you gonna go in there? Yeah. Go ahead. <gasps> there you are. Hi. I kicked Daddy's head. Daddy's and fish and stuff. Well, that doesn't make sense. There's pterodactyls and fish. I'm making an island. I see. That's neat. A little exhibit here. Um, whale tooth uses money. So sperm whale teeth are considered sacred in Fiji and are called tambua. There's a Maori waka canoe model. And then forgive my pronunciation again, but it's Kodiati Club. Because this rare Maori weapon was used exclusively for one special task: scalping the heads of humans. Oh boy. That's not good. It wouldn't be a visit to the Ring of Fire without seeing something about Maui. The legends about him and look at this here guys. Maui's hook, we found it. It's pretty. Hope, I don't know, man. That might not be the right one. <laughs> oh, what's that, Everett? It's like bowling, sort of, huh? Very cool. Bowling for pineapples. I like it. Yeah. Yep, get it all the way up to the end. Can you get it? It's almost there. Yep. There you go. You got it, man. Nice. Some interesting looking ones, huh? Alright, you guys. So we just left um, the aquarium. It got very busy in there. Um, we got to see everything though, which was cool. And we're actually going to go into the Ripley's Mountain Coaster now. So I'm not sure if I'm able to record with this because it's not like a GoPro, but if I can, I'm going to. All right, well, we were not able to film on the mountain coaster. It was super cool though, highly recommend it. They even have a deal that if you want to go a second time, if you pay $7.99 before you leave, you get a second ticket. So not a bad deal at all. Ours was included in the package, but the prices just individually weren't too bad. Um, so now we are heading into our third choice which is going to be Ripley's Believe It or Not Auditorium. This town is <laughs> They're shrinking heads. Look at this vending machine over here. That is super gross. I don't know, do any of you guys eat these? Ant wafers, crickets, larvettes, original worm snacks. I don't know about that. So this is Kamala the Wolf Girl. Legend has it in 1912, a baby girl in Godamuri, India was carried off by a she-wolf. The child was reared in the wolf den for eight years before being rescued. Yeah. Can you get it? Pull it up. This is how much? Try lifting that. Yeah, let me see. That's how much. This is how heavy their earrings were in this tribe. That is really heavy. I don't know how you wouldn't rip that. Welcome to the Ripley's Jungle. Yeah, 
to be a little uncomfortable holding a snake like that, huh? A furbu dagger. What's that? Oh, ooh. Robert Ripley's prized possessions. It's pretty wild. It does look like a real person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's actually filled, like it's a shell filled with it. If you look really close, it's made with shredded up money. Okay, it's a million dollars in there. You can see it in the fingers and stuff too. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think I like that mask. <laughs> Had a hole in his head, so he put a candle in it. My goodness. That is a very big, big guy named Walter Hudson. Stand in front of him, see how much bigger he is than you. My goodness. That's a dwarf of ancient Alexandria, Egypt. Was only 17 inches tall, found guilty of treason and imprisoned in a parrot's cage. That's sad. Ah, yes. Robert Wadlow. You can find a Robert Wadlow, I think, at every single Ripley's. Now, I am 5'4". He is significantly taller than I am. Can you imagine being that tall? My goodness. He was 490 pounds and 8 feet and 11 inches tall. What's this, Everett? Oh, wow. Instructions. Push stop. Turn on each control, then use the key on the right to seal the airlock. Did you push the start button at the bottom? There you go. Push that, and then you got to be able to do all those things before the time runs out. That one might not be working. You want to try this one? It looks like it. Yeah, push the start button and then you got to do all the controls and then hit the airlock. I just got to get this off. Yep. <laughs> See this one? Here you go. Go, go, go. Turn the electrical switch. Yep, turn the electrical switch. Goodness, this is not made for people who are not tiny. Jeez. Got a sideways, sideways feet, sideways feet. Ooh. <laughs> there are some decisions I question in my life. This is one of them. All right, you gotta. Where do we? Where are we going? That's where we are. Yeah. So, going to London. Right. Choose your shipping method. You go in air or sea? Air? That's a good choice. That'd be quicker. That means somebody's got to pay for you when you get there. Maybe the opposite? I'm not sure. Okay, what happens? It's seeing how much you weigh, so it's going to tell you how much it's going to cost you. Whoa. I think we should probably just fly if it's gonna cost you over $2,300. Yeah, but you're in a crate is what it's saying. This looks like a place we should go into. I'm not sure. Oh, you can be in jail over here, Everett. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, you have to push it. wood carved table and utensils. It's very tiny. What is it? 
Oh. Oh wow. What is it? Let's see. It's made from a tent right Oh, wow. What's in there? A squirrel. Oh. Let's see. <laughs> oh, okay. That's cool. <laughs> How are you holding that rifle like that? There you go. Now that is a talent I do not possess. What's this? Oh, better, better get on the contortion glasses. <laughs> Here, Everett, you do one. Oh, a tightrope walker. All right, now here's my question. Why are her fingernails so dirty? Goodness. Good job, though. Overall, good talent. That was a very cool picture. The perspective changes as you move. Look at that. actually all oh, it's actually shaped like that and then you as you move around it you get different perspective that's cool barcode Oprah <laughs> it's Alex Trebek made out of Rubik cube tiles Stephen Colbert made out of duct tape that one's pretty good I remember back when I was in high school, I think it was high school, maybe I was a little bit older, they had a contest to make dresses out of duct tape. The duct tape company put it on, but these are Starburst wrappers here. This is post-it notes and, oh, toilet paper. Let's go in the cave. All these different uh, mannequins keep scaring the heck out of me. Okay, let's see. Region said, what is it? This region and I'm not getting anything. It's just, it's not doing it. Oh, there it is. Beaver tail. Well, water wheel. <laughs> I think that's the, putting the water up top to the clouds, see? Yeah, it's up there. Yeah, turn that and see if we can get the water to come out from the rain. Yeah. Then it comes down through here to the water wheel. That's, can you open Let's get the, the turbine. For me? Yeah. Okay, that's stopped. Oh, and then when we turn the turbine on, it lights up the city. See? Very cool. Yeah, there's a lot of these guys just kind of scattered throughout here and they keep scaring the heck out of me when I walk past them because I think they're real people. Here, go look in this barrel. Yep. Spin it. See how it changes the way the water flows? Yeah, it's cool, huh? Oh, open it. What happened? <laughs> There's a big bear in there. Ooh, fossilized dino dung. Oh, goodness. Well, what, what animal? A red fox. We have those in our backyard. What's that one? Is it a white-tailed deer? We have those, too. <laughs> it's a real crapshoot. Animal poop. <laughs> This is dino dung and a meteorite. That's pretty cool. Let's see. Yeah, I've never seen a mirror do that before. Oh, 
this is awesome. I always love light bright, and it's a giant light bright. And then someone made Yeah, that's cool. Um, it's probably gonna drop down so they start swinging, I imagine. Yep. Hey guys, Ripley's was really cool. We enjoyed it. There was a lot of really neat exhibits and it was super hands-on. So, I mean, we have Everett is nine. My niece that's with us is five. So um, I think there is a lot of really good options for the kids, but adults, we were also really entertained. So highly recommend. These are all across the country, but they're all a little bit different depending on where they're located. Uh, so definitely come check it out. Ripley's was awesome. Yeah.